Well, today's project for the 69 Corvette was getting the rear carpet installed. Uh, still need to do the front. I'm gonna do that later this week, or at least I hope so anyway. So these were pre-molded panels, uh, carpet panels that I got from Top Flight Automotive. They went in pretty good, but there's a lot of trimming that you gotta do. So, yeah, and actually the worst part is that center piece that goes up against the back where the uh, dome light is. You know, you're kind of cramped up, working like a contortionist, trying to get it all cut out. We'll go back and I'll show you what I did to get that installed. Well, I'm working on getting this carpet installed here in this rear storage area. And uh, it's a little tricky because when I bought this car, it didn't have any carpet. So I don't have the old pieces uh, to use, you know, as a template. So I bought these preformed pieces that are pretty good. They're not, they're not too bad. They came from Top Flight Automotive. Uh, they're a little oversized, you know. They, they give you a lot of extra material so you can kind of cut it to fit. Um, but trying to figure out where it all needs to go and how far it needs to be to hide everything, that's kind of the tricky part. So I've got it tucked way up in here, all the way up there. And uh, I had a, a lamp in here that was like really high output. So now I have this LED in here because it was getting so hot. But that, that hot light that I had in um, kind of helped keep this uh, pliable so I could kind of form it around the the wheel well here and it's fit it fits really tight so it's actually pretty good and then I've got it kind of trimmed up down here I just cut those couple little pieces off but I want to keep it so that it has a little bit of a flap here so that way when the when this piece goes in on top you know it'll cover over this but I'm gonna have to trim up along the storage box here. And I've got it tucked in pretty far along the, whatever the B pillar or sail panel, whatever you wanna call it here. And then right here, so this is behind. So this panel here, it's got this, uh, kind of plastic material here. So it's gonna fit right up against this edge. So I wanna cut it maybe probably like up here, right about there so I can tuck it down inside to that, that little slot there. And then this piece will go, sorry about this horrible camera work here. It's hard to do this with one hand. But, so I want this maybe cut right here so I can tuck it down in there. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that's hopefully that's good. Trying to get this to trying to get it fit as good as I can before I put any glue on it. That way, when I put the glue on, I stick this thing on there. Hopefully, it'll stick real good, and I won't be fighting it for a half an hour trying to get it to stay down. So, and I'm gonna use, where the heck did my glue go? Eh, whatever. So I got this piece here cut and got it tucked down in there. So it's only down maybe half inch or so. There's no glue on here yet. I'm trying to get it all fit first and then I'll spray it. So then this uh, little plastic edge piece here will sit right along there and then this piece just wraps right around and it'll sit there like that. So now what I want to do, I need to cut this flap here for the storage box. But what I want to do is I want the carpet to come down and then across this little, this little ledge right here. So I'll basically cut it right along here. That way the that way the storage box will go over the carpet a little bit right here along this ledge. So I'll get that cut. And then might be ready for, for some glue. Okay. And I've also got, I've got the rubber um, mat underneath it here. Actually the same as this one here. 
and it's glued in with 3M uh, Super 77. So I got this cut, so it's just setting over that lip right there. And that way the storage box will hold it in. And then back here, we can see that. So I just kind of cut this so that it kind of fits around the corner there. And then this piece will just wrap around and meet up with it underneath of there. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna stick the storage box in now and just make sure that it kind of fits like it's supposed to. Box fits in good right over top of it. And then this spot here, the uh, there's gonna there's the flat piece of carpet that fits in on top of here. And it's also gonna be cut to fit underneath of this lip. So we don't have to worry about this little edge piece here because that other piece will come in underneath of it. This spot looks pretty good here though. Okay, so that'll sit down nice and tight against that. So I think this piece is ready to glue in. I also, I was trying to push this in and keep this upper piece here nice and tight while I was trimming down along this edge. So you don't want to trim that edge and then push this in and then it end up being too short. So I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I haven't put carpet in a C3 Corvette in like 14 years. And I couldn't really find any good videos showing the uh, installation. So hopefully maybe this will help somebody along the way. If anybody knows what these brackets are, I have no idea what the hell that is. There's one on the other side too. If you know what those brackets are, leave a comment. Because I have no idea. But anyway. Okay, carry on. I'm going to do the other side here. And then, and then I'll spray these up and get them put in. Got this side in there. A little more difficult, and I got some wrinkles up here from the uh, where the wire is. But this is where the the wire runs along here and goes out for the tail lights and such. But got it all the way up in there. Same with there, and tucked in behind here, and then. So right here we have this big bundle of wires coming through. So I just kind of cut the wire, cut the carpet there to go around the bundle of wires. You can see that there. And then again, it's just tucked in here. So, so, I, so I cut it just to where it's it's just cut enough that it it just barely goes in there, just enough to go down in. And then this piece goes up against it. So. And then I got this piece here cut for along there. Okay. So I'm going to glue this one in. And that one, and then we'll see where that brings us. Okay, so the wheel well pieces are now glued in. They went in pretty easy. I got the plastic frame sitting in here on top of the carpet, so, and it holds it in nice. So 
So I'm gonna, now I'll go ahead and put this back piece of carpet in. This back piece, I got it just kind of setting in here and uh, got to cut out for around the, that interior light there. And then there's these three holes, one there, one here and one over there. Uh, I have those little rubber plugs that go through the carpet. Um, they look like this here. So those little plugs. And then, uh, then you also have to cut for the little loops that are here and here. Yeah, so I'm just not gonna glue this side of the carpet down because I still need to drill these holes out because the old loops, they were so rusted. I had to use a grinder to get them off of there. And uh, same thing up here. So I basically just covered over them, but eventually I'll cut that carpet out around the loop. There was a hole up here that I plugged where the hose came across and I plugged that hole. And then I'm just gonna put a little rubber plug on this end just for now until I get the hoses and all that stuff. And then on, on this edge here where it's gonna go underneath of the plastic frame, that little storage bin frame, I'm gonna cut this padding it's, kind of, it's glued to the carpet. I'm gonna cut it back about an inch. That way, whenever it comes down, just the carpet will go underneath of that storage box. Because with, with this part on there, it's too thick and the storage box won't come down far enough to get the screws in these holes. So I'm just gonna trim that back. And then, uh, and then I'll punch these holes through just with a pointy screwdriver or, or maybe an awl of some sort. And then uh, just gonna cut around that with a razor blade. So I've got this piece of carpet in. Um, it's not installed yet, it's just sitting in there. But I've got it, I've got it pulled all the way up so that it's sitting up against the inside of the uh, frame here. So that's all the way up as far as it can go. So now that I've got it, now that I've got it set where I want it here, I'm gonna go ahead and punch the holes up here um, to get those rubber plugs in and then I'll cut for the uh, for the dome light. So I'm going to try and find those holes using this little this little poker here and then and then I'll just use a uh, just an awl like this to push through make a little bit bigger of a hole so that I can get this little rubber plug up in there and uh, yeah, and then I'll cut around for the for that dome light. And so the dome light, I'm not gonna, I don't need to make a real big hole, just big enough for that, maybe, you know, just around this spot here, just so the plug can go through the carpet. So that's where I'm at now. Got one of the plugs in. I'm gonna do the middle one after I get this side, so. I'm just flopping this thing up in there and then using that thing to find the, the center of that hole. And then take the awl here, put it up against that, push it up through and pull that orange handle out. And then run this thing all the way up so that the uh, hole is big enough then that this little rubber plug will fit through it. So I've got the awl through the carpet and it goes through pretty easily. It goes right through it. But as you can see up here on the padding that's on there, it's barely poking through. It's This stuff is really hard to push through. So I just cut around this and get rid of that little spot there. So just cut you a little hole like that in the material. And uh, I found it was actually easier to cut it with the all stuck through it. See, so when it was like that, it was up through there. I just pulled the material down against it. And then I cut around. And then I used just a little bit of uh, lithium grease on here just to push it through. And then it's got a hole in it, so you can put a Phillips head screwdriver in it. And you can push it all the way through and just, until you fill it, you know, um, seat inside the hole in the fiberglass there. Okay, so this is a pain in the butt right here, putting this uh, light in here. So I 
got the hole poked through there so I can get the uh, connector in. So I had to cut the insulation off the back there a little bit. And I opened up a little bit of a spot there, the hole, so that I can get this one in after I get the light on. So once I get the light on, I'll just push right through there and just put that rubber plug in. Uh, trying to find these holes here is going to be pretty difficult. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, these are the factory screws, but they kind of have a blunt end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little drywall screws that have a pointy end on it. So I'm going to try and get those in first. And then once I get, get these in and get it set on there, then I'll swap them out for these ones. So that's the plan. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, that worked. Using the uh, little drywall screws was definitely the trick. Um, but I had to pull more of the insulation out around it. Because uh, as you start trying to run the screw through, the screw just binds up in the insulation. So pull the insulation out around that thing. It makes it a lot easier. So now I'm going to throw just a little bit of 3M spray back there just to kind of keep it up. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to put too much of it on and then I'll push these plugs in and that should be about it other than I'll probably just hit a little bit under here maybe back where this little bump is to kind of keep that down and uh, on this end I'm not too worried about it because the um, storage bin frame will hold this down but I might put just a couple spots of glue just so that when I'm running a vacuum back here, it doesn't suck it up into the shop back. So. Okay, I got those three plugs in there. Got the dome light on and the little lens on there. I put the storage bin frame in to hold it all in place. And it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I will probably do the front later this week. But that's about it for this one. So, um... Yeah, if this helps you out at all, give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.